having said, I want to add sol more solar panels. Oh. One of the first things I need to do. And I'm gonna put it far enough from there. Or maybe from over there. I don't know. I'll figure it out. It's uh, different when you have to do this by yourself. If I can and go inside, I can, as you see, I have my tall inch mark here, my tall inch mark. Oh. Right here, because I want to make it so straight. I'm loving it. I love to learn. Between the frame of that window and the frame of this window, I have eight inches. So four inches is the middle, which is around there, which will be around the middle of this. But if we look inside, the middle of this is not the total width. It's like a split between this cabinet and that cabinet, which makes the hole like right here in the middle. I mean, why can't everything just be easier? So I don't know if I should go and draw from the top down or from the bottom up. I want to think about this for a little bit. I don't want to screw up. I think what I'm going to do is to drill the smallest hole that I can drill from the top down, meaning from the roof to the cabinet. And then I'm going to make a hole regardless. And I know kind of the area. So if I make the smallest hole possible, then I think I should be okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make sense of it. So I took off my passenger seat to make room for my tools. So when I come to my garage, so when I come to my garage, which is what I created here, then my tools are accessible. These two boxes are my tools. My drills are here. I wasn't using the passenger seat and I don't think I'm gonna use it. So I got a metal shelf and I created myself my little garage. Because that one over here is not enough. And now the weather is changing. It went from being clear to bringing some clouds and I cannot start making holes unless I know for sure there's not gonna rain or that I have the time to start and finish the project in one day. Is it gonna rain today? There's no rain in the forecast for today. All right, keep at it then. I'm gonna make a hole where I think is the ideal place. I'm thinking I'm gonna do it right here. So this is 12. Okay, let's do this. Well, I'm gonna need a longer tool. All right, let's find me a bigger tool. I think I'm gonna get away with making a smaller hole because the drill bits that I have are not much longer without being much thicker. Try the next big one. And don't laugh at me because I just realized something. I think I have this extenders thing in. I think these are to extend the drill. I'm learning, okay? Nobody's teaching me any of this. I'm figuring it out, but I think that's what these are for. So I guess I can use it like this, but it doesn't really work because I need longer this way. I still get stuck here unless I make a bigger hole. So I need something that's longer here. <laughs> I guess I need to make a bigger hole. If you know the tool that I need, Please, please put it on the comments. I'm looking for something to extend the drill bit. I'm gonna try the drill. This one has a longer bit. It's not exactly what I needed, but it's what I have. Like I say, my methods are not the more traditional, but I'm trying to make it work. So I got hammer. This very long screwdriver. So if that didn't go through, something else is wrong or I'm in the middle of the panel that supports the kitchen cabinet and the cabinet above my desk. So I'm pretty sure this went all the way through. 
I'm gonna stick it back in and go inside. And see what we see. Okay, wish me luck. Wow, nothing. So if it isn't anywhere around here, it be, maybe in the middle here. It probably is. So I'm gonna look on the other side, the kitchen side. Bummer. So here we are at the kitchen side. And I don't feel or see any screwdriver. Yeah, it wouldn't be that far in the back, but it has to be here, right here in the middle. That would be so freaking weird, right there, like in, like right here. How can that be? I need to move this panel now and see. Let's do that. Gosh, I just discovered where the screwdriver is. It is right here. <laughs> oh man, why? Do I have to move back more? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make the hole here. So at least now I know where the middle is. That's horrible. It's not too bad because I don't like this cabinet anyway, and the plan is to upgrade this. That is not too bad, but that's where the screwdriver is. And I'm glad that I didn't make the main hole right away and that I tested the area first. So now I need to, I need, now I know that I have to move at least, let's see, wow, a few inches back. I wanna measure that. How can I not see this for that was right here? I need to move at least four inches so the middle could be right here. Okay, that's doable. So that's what I'm gonna do. If I can, because I only have six inches back so six inches here hmm so the whole thing is 13 and a half inches and so I'm gonna have to be so that's 13 and a half and I need to do one two three four, eight inches from okay I missed the screwdrivers right here <laughs> because it was under the the door oh my gosh oh my gosh all right that's not too big of a deal. So if I move four inches out, four inches would be right here. That would be my middle. And then the box is 12 by 12, so I need six inches of surface, which I do, it will end right here, the box. All right, so this would be the middle, and then 12, so this is 12. The hole that I made is gonna be covered by the box. This is gonna be the edge of the box. And over here is the other. And my next hole is gonna be right there. So I brought the box to give us a visual. Here's the AC, the antenna is gonna sit on top of that. There is the little edge of my 12 inches and if I move a little back there's the hole so it's gonna be covered by the box and I, I can as you see I have my 12 inch mark here my 12 inch mark here and my 44 inch mark here so the brackets won't be on the way now I'm gonna make the big hole before I make the hole I want to clean the surface with denatured alcohol. After I do this, there's no way back. Here I go. And this is really one of the most scary parts of the whole thing, making the hole. Now that the hole has been made, it's time to go and prepare the, the box. Okay, I got the antenna. So the top is 13 inches. I'm marking the six and a half point. Yeah, and then right there. 
that's where the hole is gonna go. Okay, now that the hole is made, I'm gonna remove the top because it has the rest of the screws inside and whatever parts I need. This is a very good quality waterproof junction box. For what I can tell, it's difficult to find, but I'm gonna leave a link for you to find it. It's waterproof and at the bottom, it's all like one mold, which makes it waterproof. See? No edges, it's all one mold. Center right here. You see? It's right there in that middle. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, I believe the next step is to put the cover back on, put the screws on, and then mount the antenna, and then prepare the bottom, and then take it to the roof. Whew. Before adding glue to anything, I am going to make sure that this fits properly because once it's done, it's done. And I'm going to have to learn how to make this wire shorter, but that's going to be next time. One thing at a time, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All of this, I'm going to have to pass through it regardless, so might as well do it. There's a little broken here. Kind of like the same brackets that you have at a plumbing sink. So I believe this is gonna secure it to the box even more. All right. I think I got them all. One, two, three, four, five. All right, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. This is the concept. Now I'm going to clean everything up and get to it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm very nervous because this, the, the types of glue I'm working with are permanent and they're super strong. But I got to do it. There is nothing they can stop me at this point, I have to do it. So this is a double-sided tape, 3M. It's very strong, but I am gonna add to it, to the, around it. This is the difficult part, because I wanna make it so straight. Even if it's not straight straight, it is an honor right now. Before it's done, I'm gonna add pressure, clean it, seal it some more like around. I'm gonna put um, the turn it on everywhere, seal it everywhere, and then we'll take it to the roof. Oh my gosh, I had totally forgotten to add this washer and bolt. So I had to unscrew the top and thank goodness I had not glued it down yet. Thankfully I cut myself and now I'm gonna finish screwing that to the top. I'm adding the sealant around the perimeter and I know that my installations are not pretty, but I am doing them for the first time and I'm doing them myself. And for me, as long as I'm learning, the aesthetics of it are not that important at this point for me. And the video from Mobile Must Have is way more professional than mine. But mine is mine. 
and I'm learning and I'm loving it. I love to learn. It's okay if we make mistakes. It's okay if it's not pretty. I think the most valuable is to become self-sufficient, you know? I think it's, that's more important than pretty.